Here is what you missed on Malone's Hypeline. Tonight, I have a very, very special guest into the building, and uh, she's the beautiful, most talented man. She's she's something hot out of Houston. I'm talking about just Britney. Now, you guys don't know her. I'm gonna get you familiar with her. Now, if you listen to that Derriere remix track, that is a banger right there, and she blessed me with that verse, and it was just something epic. So. We got our first caller on the line. Without further ado, let's get our first call in. Caller from the 713 area code. State your name. Where you calling from? Just shake it, shake it, shake it like. We don't care. What's up, Malone? This girl just Britney. Caller number one. What, what's going on, just Britney? What's going on with you? Chillaxing at the studio. Okay, okay, I see that. Man, give the, give the woman a round of applause, man. Give her a round of applause for your boy, man. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. Oh, yeah, anytime, anytime. Now, I must say, man, that Derriere track is making some noise, um, and people are shaking their Derrieres every time they hear it. What do you think about that joint? I think it was a real, a really good, fun song to do, and when, um... Timo told me about it. it just, when I heard it, it made me feel like this. And I'm just like, okay, yeah, this is a nice track. Like, I like it. And then when we shot the video and everything, like, it was fun to make it, make and really get up there and shake my derriere that I know everybody wants to see. Most definitely. Most definitely. If people are not familiar about you, um, which they should be, tell, tell them uh, where you come from and who you are and what you do. Well, I'm I'm um, from Houston, Texas. My name is Jess Brittany. I'm an entertainer. I'm an artist first, and I also rap, and I'm, I'm an actor as well. I've been in a movie before. But um, most importantly, like, I'm, I'm here to entertain. Um, a lot of people may know me from my first single, Call Me For That Good. Uh, if okay. you want it, you can get it. Call me, call me for that good. And, you know, um, I've dropped a few tapes since then, but now I'm back on it, and... I never stopped, actually, but I'm about to get ready to drop my new single, Never Gonna Get It, so I'm just an artist, man, trying to make my way to the top. Well, you're definitely doing that, man. I'm seeing you. Um, now, I know you got this new joint coming up. Uh, what's that? Uh, that Hold You Down remix. How did that come about? Actually, um, hear me. Um, she's an artist from out of Houston. She works with DJ Young Sam. He actually hit me up and he was like, hey, I got this song I need you on. Um, my girl's hearing me. And the Hold You Down record is a remix to the Chris Brown and um, August Alcina and DJ Khaled track, Hold You Down. And I didn't even know it was a remix until after I did the song. Like, I really thought that it was a, it was our song, but it was really the remix song. So she hit me up and, you know, we um I just did that much and sent it back. Wow, wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's what's up, man. Um, I know you went to London. How is the culture, the music culture out there versus to in here in the States? Well, it's 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 cool because it, it's not that much different. They listen to a lot of Jamaican music, and they also listen to a lot of music like, you know, the popular songs in the, that's hot in the States. But the, what's really different, I tell you, is the way that they drive and how their steering wheel is on the right side of the car and ours is on the left. And, you know, the, the street is is directed different ways. Like, how we'll be going, you know, one way on the street, that's a way to go the opposite way that we're going on the street. And, you know, the currency and things of that nature. So that's really what's different um, between London and, and Houston and the States. Oh, definitely. That's real. That's real. I mean, uh, I never. I, I've been out of the country one time. Um, Mexico really, really wasn't nothing. But I mean, uh, you know, as an artist uh, myself, you know, you want to travel and, and and see different things. I mean, do you feel like whenever you travel to different places, like you kind of gain a little bit more experience and you kind of put it into your songs? Yeah, of course. I mean, I feel like that's what it's about. Like every adventure, every experience is for you to, to relay a message or, you know, talk about in your music. And that helps people along the journey of where you're going. 
So I think that's very important to, you know, go back and talk about what happened in real life to talk about in your music. And that's pretty much what I do. I try to keep it to where it's like it's real life things. And that's what I talk about in my music, real life adventures. It's just Britney adventures. Oh, definitely. That's real. That's real. Um, the Houston scene, it's just, it's crazy, man. Um, now, don't get me wrong. There's, there's some... Bad motherfuckers that are coming out of Houston. Propane, Kirk Bangs, just Britney, Zero. But, like, a lot of times I feel like you guys don't get the exposure that you truly deserve. I mean, I don't know. It, it, it's just crazy to me. What, what, what's your thoughts on that? Um, I really think it's because, it's, you know what, Houston is just its own, like, world in its own. And you can stay in Houston for years and just think that that that's it and I think that that's it in the whole world but it's just so much to feel and do out here to where I feel like a lot of artists get stuck like right here you know what I mean and if you don't venture out and you don't go different places you'll never see the rest of the world it's not like it's, it's not telling it's just like nobody is really like taking the initiative unless it's a label or you know you have a budget to be able to travel because it's costly trying to travel and get to different places and you know the marketing and promotion is of it but a lot of um, artists that you named are like really independent artists like Kirko, he signed, but Propane, I'm sure, I'm, I think, yeah, he's independent. I'm an independent artist. You know what I mean? So it's really like, it's, you just making, making me do what it do with what you have, honestly. But I'm the, I see, I'm, a, I'm moving around. Like, I'm making sure that I try to touch every little. Tune in on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 9.30 p.m. Central Time, 773-897-3976, only, only, only on Blog Talk Radio.